what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here for some more haikyuu today we're going to be doing two more episodes of haikyuu man i'm enjoying this series um i'm enjoying this series you know i was thinking the other day that i should title my videos watching haikyuu as a volleyball player but i don't play volleyball anymore i used to <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you know, most of my perspective is coming from that angle. So I was thinking of titling my videos. And I was like, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't care that much about that. Who's going to look that up in the, in the algorithm? Who's going to go and be like, yo, hike you from a volleyball perspective. <laughs> Who's going to search for that in the search engine? I don't think anybody is going to do that. So. But anyways, I'm enjoying this series. We, you know, I'm hope, I'm hoping, I think, I think this guy is going to join the team. Um, I think he is going to join the team. Um, we got just the guy that's going to play the, the liberal. He's going, he, I think that's the only way they're going to get him back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm guessing in some ways, this picture right here kind of spoils it, spoils it for me. Because I noticed that he's on the court, the the guy, the liberal guy, he's on the court. He's right there on the on on my right, right. He's right there over my shoulder. Um, so I'm guessing he's gonna at least end up on a team. I don't know how. Um, I don't I don't see anybody else that's off. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. I think he is the other guy because this dude says that it's the only way that he's going to join the team so i'm guessing that if that guy doesn't come back he's not gonna come back and i see that he did come back so they're gonna figure out a way he did at the end of the last episode say that he does remember you know what i'm saying what that feels like because he basically lost his love for volleyball because he kept getting blocked but but the greatest thing about overcom overcoming obstacles is getting over those obstacles if those obstacles are in your way and you just give up trying to get over them that obstacle is going to hold you down forever you're going to be depressed you're going to be i miss that i really miss it you know what i'm saying like if you're doing something see this is the difference between people who are geniuses and, and people who work hard at something both of them together is a very deadly combination but if they're separate like geniuses they will do something to a point you get what i'm saying they'll do something to a point where they a lot of times they come to an obstacle and they can't get over it because they just want to create what they want what they're creating or doing what they're doing and just be good at it you get what i'm saying but once they have to put in any hard work they more than likely they're going to quit trust me i'm telling you this from experience seeing this with my own eyes and also with me with myself when it comes on to talking about a person who's coming up multi-talented you get what i'm saying and didn't when 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 it was time to work hard i was like eh, y'all forget that you know what i'm saying on to the next you know and i've learned how to curve that you get what i'm saying and to combine you know what I'm saying? Being good, being great at something and still have to work hard at it if, if you really, really want it. So, you know, if you're doing something and an obstacle presents itself, your job is to work hard to overcome that obstacle, not to give up on what you're doing. But most people don't. Most people just say, yo, F that, I'm moving on to the next thing. You get what I'm saying? So, um... Some people can't stick with anything. You know what I'm saying? There's a statistic that says most people can't stick with anything more than 30 days. After 30 days, they're they're done. If it's not working out, they're on to find the next opportunity. You know? So for me, he has to learn that. If it if it's he has to learn to overcome that. He has to learn to over to know that, hey, they're going to be blockers. They're gonna learn how to block you, dude. You have to adjust. Get stronger to get through those blocks even. Work harder put on some muscle and start slamming those balls and break some fingers if needs be you know what i'm saying so i'm loving this anime right now it's so saucy you know what i'm saying it's so good it's so inspirational it's, it's talking about hard work you know being a genius all the good things you want in a sports anime is here very heartfelt and i also pointed out that um a a um 
a ost right a ost that was played in i don't remember what episode it was it might have been ep the last episode we watched and it turns out it's the same composer somebody told me in the comment section that it's the same composer that made the soundtrack for my hero academia it's the same one and i was thinking i was like it sounds so sim similar it sounds so similar it's not it's it's not the same but it sounds so similar so i wouldn't when it comes on to composing if you look at if you look through history and look at composing you will see that a, a lot of these great composers of music they tend to have a signature you get what i'm saying so you'll hear a certain sound and you'll be like oh it's from that guy you get what i'm saying so you notice this in, in certain in 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 how people make beats and all this other stuff there's a unique sound to what they do and you can tell just off of just listening to it if it's um a dr dre beat or a timbaland beat because they just have a unique sound that's what composers are known for because it's just their ear but now you are ear hearing what they're hearing you get what i'm saying when they make a beat to have that signature sound so that's pretty cool i was thinking but i didn't think i would be right <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyways let's get to these episodes i'll see you guys for the review all right so here we go um haiku episodes 9 and 10 very very good episodes i enjoy them very much so um very wholesome episode i almost started to tear up from the conversation between Kageyama and Hinata because there's nothing worse there's nothing worse than feeling down and have nobody to pick you up and I knew he was trying to teach him and it's exactly what I pointed out that he was trying to teach him he's trying to tell him it's like dude there's nobody else on the did you see what we just did how can you possibly be doubting yourself right now that's what he's thinking and I would be thinking the same thing like why are you doubting yourself you know what we do as a duo you get what I'm saying? And this is no disrespect to the team itself, but bro, we are practically invincible right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in no way, shape or form thinking that throughout this whole anime, nobody's going to be able to stop their quick attack because I do believe that they're going to come a team that's going to figure out how to block that quick attack and figure them out. Um, and he's going to probably use Hinata less in that match and go to aside a lot more in that match and he's probably going to be down on himself after that but that's a legitimate reason to be down at that point you get what i'm saying but right now when you're dominating your quick attack is absolutely unstoppable literally unstoppable because he's so quick he can get away from blockers he can okie doke them give them that crossover move and get to where he needs to get to and kageyama is so accurate you know what i'm saying with his passes and the way how he does setting you know what i'm saying is just so good there's no need for him to be worried at this point so it was a way to teach him a lesson he's like listen i'm gonna tell them we're i'm gonna tell them that you getting the ball next and they still can't do shit about it that's how good we are so stop worrying about it so i you know what i'm saying everybody needs somebody like that in their life not a not everybody has somebody like that in their life i've been through that experience with colleagues and stuff like that um you know where i have to be the one to be like listen you do this this and this very well this one thing that you want to be good at right now is not necessarily in your skill set right now you are learning but you're good at this you're exceptional at this at this and this and this you get what i'm saying so why are you so caught up on this one thing you can't be perfect at everything okay recognize what your skills are and go at them if 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 that's something that you really want that you really want to be good at work at it but it's not going to be perfect the first time around stop worrying about it you get what i'm saying so i've encouraged people like that that are that are like that you know before so i know exactly what he was trying to do kind of using reverse psychology and also pro proving to him that dude you're good you're a great player and your position is cool stop worrying about it 
people can be used as decoys in in sport it happens basically in probably every sport that uses a team people are used as decoys i see it in basketball all the time i see you know what i'm saying so decoy positions are practically in every team sport you can use players as decoys even if even if even if they don't know that they're a decoy you can use other people as decoys shit i do it in call of duty all the time <laughs> I do it in Call of Duty all the time. It's, it's not it's not a great thing to do in Call of Duty, but it, it you still can use teammates as decoys because they play sometimes they play like they're idiots and they're on your team. You're like you see that the guy is aiming down there. You see me sitting here trying to pick the dude off and you just run off into the alley. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you literally run past me to run over there and get picked off by the same guy I'm trying to kill. It's just so weird to me sometimes. Is is like it's weird it's like you think i'm just aiming down here because i just love standing here even though you do have people in call of duty that just love to sit and aim down an alleyway you know what i'm saying so but it is what it is but anyways terrible example but you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> anyways um i am enjoying this anime glad that asai is back so the team is basically assembled the dude ukai's grandson is here to coach the team can't wait for them to be in this match that they're about to play this battle of the dumpster um crows versus cats or whatever they want to call themselves so i'm looking forward to that of course anime is gonna i think i'm going to cry to watching this anime and because it reminds me so much of a lot of stuff that i've been through whether in sports or just real life it just reminds me of people giving me pep talks people that have picked me up from very low places and stuff like that me not believing in myself even though i'm super talented you get what I'm saying? Like people just not believing in me, family, friends, you get what I'm saying? And people who have, it just reminds me of that. Like, and I know for some people, sometimes you wish that that, that, that person was there when certain things were happening and you didn't have that person until they actually showed up and you actually dwelled in that dark place for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens to, to, to pretty much everybody that I've known. So um, I appreciate this anime for pointing out stuff like that. And you usually get this feeling when you, when, you, when, you know what I'm saying, when you're watching sports anime, even though I've pretty much only watched one so far, you know, in full, you know, which is Ippo. And I'm still, I'm reading the manga right now, um, you know, that I do reactions to that I actually do need to put out another um, 10 chapters. Um, that's coming up soon. But Haikyuu, man. Props out to them that make this. They're really doing a good job of really getting in my feel. So I got to give them props for that. I love when animes do that. Love when animes make me think. I love that. Love a good story also. And um, I'm loving it. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and also subscribe. If you're new. Wow. What was that? Acid reflux? I don't know what the hell that was weird it's like i'm talking for too long but anyways thank you guys so much as always it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out don't forget to like the video